Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 77. That is, what is test management? Let me answer. Test management is a process or procedure of managing testing activities. Let's say there is a project. In a project, as part of software testing, we perform a lot of testing activities. Managing such kind of testing activities in a project is known as test management. So as part of test management, we follow a process or procedure for managing several testing activities. Test management is performed in several phases. Okay, it's not a single phase activity. Okay, test management where we are going to manage the testing activities is performed in several phases. What are the several phases involved in test management? Risk analysis phase, where the probable risk, okay? The prob before we start testing, what are the probable risks that may that the team may encounter? That risk will be analyzed in advance and solutions will be created in advance. Okay, that is risk analysis. Then estimations. Okay, so we have to estimate uh, what time, okay, what time and duration each and every individual testing activities take. Then planning, how to perform testing, how to plan our testing, what is our strategy? Okay, what is our strategy strategy? What are the functionalities we have to test? Who will test what? All this kind of planning will be done as part of test management. Then test organization. So Organizing perfect team for testing. Okay, in case of test organization phase of uh, test management, we organize the perfect team. Okay, we'll we'll provide perfect team for performing the this kind of testing activities. Okay, who is suitable for which type of testing? We'll decide in advance as part of test organization. Then test monitoring and control. Okay, so test monitoring means to see how the testing progress is going on. What is the current uh, uh, state of the testing, whether the quality is good, whether things are going well or not, we are monitoring. Okay, if any problem is identified, okay, if a problem is identified, let's say the testing is not being done on time or the proper uh, defects are not fixed on time, such kind of monitoring will go on, guys. Okay, if any problems are identified as part of test management, in, as part of uh, test management in test monitoring, then we have to control that. Okay, so control means bring that particular problem to control. That means things should go well. How to overcome that problem and proceed further? That is control. Okay, first we'll monitor to see if any issues or problems are there. Then we have to control it so that things will be on pace and things will be on control like that. So here, as you can see, tracking project progress and controlling it if it is out of uh, progress. Okay, if it is not going as per the plan, then we'll control it. We'll take necessary measures where it will follow the path, proper path. Then issues management, okay? So during the project, a lot of problems will come, guys. Okay, we have to handle the problems as part of test management, okay? So if any problem, any issue is there in the project, how to handle that? That is issue management. Then test report. You see, all testing is all about results, right? Okay, so what, where we can assess the quality, how much testing is completed, etc. So reports. These are the several phases in test management, starting from risk analysis to test report. So how to do all these activities in a detailed manner, you see there, that is explained in this components, okay? That is uh, written in this com uh, components. As you can see, there are a lot of components like uh, in case of test documentation as part of this test planning. Okay, in test management, uh, we create the test policy, test strategy, that is our approach for testing, test plan, which uh, indeed contains a lot of things like scope of the project, okay? What need to be tested, what in which environments we have to perform testing, schedule at what uh, time we'll perform which type of testing and what are the testing activities we perform based on the time and schedule okay resources who are going to work on this uh, project what uh, what are the those people roles and responsibilities everything will be written created in the test plan deliverables what you are going to deliver as part of the project what is the entry and exit criteria for uh, the software testing stlc in followed by this project okay for each and every phase of stlc in this project what is the entry and exit criteria risk analysis and solution what are the uh, probable risks in this project and what are the backup solutions when they encounter, okay? So that we have to follow when they encounter. Like the test documentation, we do as part of test management, where we create this kind of documents and this kind of activities will be done in this, as a, will be documented as part of these documents. Then test estimation, okay? You see, test estimation is one of the phase, right? But uh, test estimation is a very big thing, okay? What are the different factors which will uh, affect this test estimation? As you can see here, you see, uh, what what level of quality is required based on that uh, we can estimate how much time it will take and all right so application size what is a application is very big or small application historical data what type of data the application is using so far 
then test environments okay in which how many environments we have to perform testing also affects our estimation if more environments are there the testing will take more time so like that tools which tools we are using based on that are using tools without tools we are doing based on that estimation will be decided process complexity how much complex uh, is a project process okay which uh, which model we are following as part of the project everything will depend strategy based on our approach of testing estimations will differ training any training is required for the resources okay Be if extra training is required for the resources estimations will differ knowledge transfer okay so how much knowledge transfer has to be done okay with an existing project and if new people came knowledge transfer is required okay so their estimations will differ based on the technology that has to be used while working on the projects okay or while testing something in the projects okay that based on that specifications based on the requirements of the project based on the uh, test data preparation okay how much time or uh, how much uh, important the test data plays a uh, role in this particular application how much uh, efforts need to be put as part of creating the test data all this differs in the estimation part resources which type of resources are working in the project based on that estimation differs okay differs so these are the different things that are done as part of the test management guys uh, we do the documentation as of okay uh, the project team okay we'll do the test documentation as part of test management uh, they do test estimation as part of test management then metrics so we have to, unless we measure something we cannot get the result right okay whether we are going in the right direction or not okay let's say you are traveling from destination a to destination b you have to um, measure it right how much distance you already traveled how much uh, distance is left how many kilometers is already traveled by a bus or train or something and how, man, how much distance is still left that metrics are required in the project also as part of testing activities also how much progress is done to confirm that we have to me measure it so what are the different metrics we need as part of the as part of managing the testing activities in a project we have to measure the project metrics like how much uh, percentage of uh, application is uh, as passed the testing and how much has failed how much has not been uh, tested it okay all these things need to be measured okay these are the metrics then product metrics guys product metrics uh, what are the different attributes of the product uh, how many defects are coming in how many area uh, like uh, if you take any across application functionalities uh, in each and every application how many defects okay that is defect density process metrics like uh, measure uh, capability of testing how much cable is our testing are we doing the testing well how um, we can also measure this uh, process metric with the number of defects identified by the testing team and people metrics okay so how much cable the individual people uh, that is software testers who are working in the team are really working and able to identify the defects these are people metrics then test progress it is all about the progress of the testing project where uh, how many test cases planned versus how many test cases executed how much uh, we thought of uh, uh, executed uh, we, we thought of executing how many test cases but how many actually got executed that is what is uh, line all about total defects identified by the team okay and categorized according to cvrt priority and other categories change these are all metrics guys to measure your progress okay testing progress change request how many change requests are being introduced by the client every time okay planned versus actual cost okay so are we completing the testing in time and uh, duration that is time is duration and within the budget it's testing is completing or not okay so all things can be measured so milestone which milestones we have to reach by what time of time and uh, it is as per the expectations or actually according to the plan it's happening or not quality risk status what is a quality is it going well or are there any risks in the quality and efforts how much efforts okay the team is putting in performing the testing all these are the metrics okay? so we are done with the estimation we are done with the documentation these are the different components in test management so all these activities will be done as part of test management as part of managing the testing activities we do the doc documentation we do the test estimation we do the test metrics then we measure the testing progress okay so product risk how much uh, risk covered how much uh, you see like a uh, testing means testing will, will uncover the defects and uh, when the defects are uncovered risk will get reduced right how much risk is actually covered and how much thing is tested uh, how much risk is there from the failed test data uh, okay identified by risk identified by the individuals this is a product risk guys then coming to the defects how many defects are identified okay this is a measurement here okay this 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 maps with the metrics actually defects reported how many defects are reported according to the category priority cvrt how many defects got rejected duplicate defects time taken to fix the defects new defects introduced on fixing you see when you when uh, in some projects what happens is when when uh, developers fix some old defects some new defects will occur again okay so such kind of problems based on that uh, we can uh, decide the progress measure the progress then also apart from product risk and uh, defects we can also measure the test progress based on the test 
how many tests passed, how many tests failed, executed, blocked, total tests, how many total tests are there, okay? Coverage, coverage, next one is coverage. That is uh, requirements coverage, how much requirements coverage is complete as part of testing, okay? How many requirements we tested? Design coverage, how many uh, test cases we have executed or something like the risk coverage, how much risk is reduced? Environments, environments coverage, like how, in how many environments we completed our testing, okay? Code coverage, this is generally done by the developers, okay? So uh, where you map, right, or testers also. So in background, whenever you perform testing on the application in the background, code will run. How much amount of code actually got executed, okay? How much code is tested actually? Not only UI, but also at the code level, how much testing is done, that's the code coverage. So this will measure the testing progress, guys. And on the top of that, monitoring metrics in testing lifecycle. You see, we have to monitor and control, right? If uh, things are not going according to the plan, we have to control it and bring it back to the pace, okay? So as part of that, what are the different metrics we follow for monitoring? You have to monitor the test plan. As per the test plan, the things are happening or not. Whatever we plan, uh, the things we have to, the things that are in scope, the environments we have to test, uh, according to the schedule mentioned, according to the resources uh, and all deliverables we have to deliver. We are monitoring the test plan, okay? Number of risks resolved and number of requirements covered, defect discovery, planned versus actual efforts. As per the test plan, everything is going according to the plan. We are monitoring here. Test, test design, okay? Defects identified during the test design, okay? Then uh, monitor test analysis, number of condition, number of test cases, number of defects in analysis, like a while, okay? Number of defects identified or something. Monitor test implementation, percent of uh, percentage of environment configuration, percent of test case automated, so implementation wise, okay, so how much is completed, then monitor execution, how many test cases got passed, failed, not executed, blocked, how many, how much percentage uh, test cases covered, planned versus actual defects resolved by the developers, okay, percentile of per, uh, planned versus actual coverage of testing, this is all monitoring part, guys, okay, monitoring the closure part, you see, these are the STLC phases, you see, test planning, then designing, then uh, execution, okay, execution, then closure, finally closure will come, where final report should be there, right? Uh, just to close the testing, what what uh, metrics we can actually measure, like how many test cases passed or failed to close up soft, uh, software testing as part of the project. Test cases checked, okay, automated. Then based on these results only, if these are positive, then only we can close our testing, okay? These are the uh, metrics for uh, monitoring the closure part of the software testing, okay? Defect resolved, defect not resolved, work product tested, how much, okay? How much amount of work product tested? Everything is a metric here. Because these are the components, guys. Um, components mostly involve documentation, estimations, and metrics, guys, okay? Measurements and metrics are the major areas in this component. Fine. And this is how the test management is done in phases, which I already covered, okay? These are the different phases across which test management is done. Finally, it will give the reports. First, it will start with the risk analysis, and slowly it will go to the test report. As part of test estimation, you see a lot of components I covered here, okay? Which will be involved as part of test planning and estimation already. Fine. And monitoring also. Fine. So you see, guys, uh, if you, if a if a person or a team is uh, doing the test management for managing the testing activities in a project, without using any tools, it's going to be very difficult, right? The software or an uh, software tool will make your job more easy. It will automate your process. You see, you cannot create a lot of Excel files and uh, track all the stuff. That is a very hectic process. Nowadays, a lot of tools are available in the market, which makes our job of test management, uh, where we have to manage the testing activities in a project, very easy. Okay, very sophisticated because things are automated, right? You know, for example, in real world, what do you do, guys? Can, you can do one thing. You can wash your wash your clothes, or you can uh, you can wash your clothes with the help of washing machine. Okay, so what is washing machine used there? It's automating the process of uh, washing with your hands and all. Okay, which will take a lot of time and uh, efforts. But uh, by using some tools, right, like washing machine in real world, here we have some test management tools which make our job of test managing of this uh, testing activities in a project very easy okay what are the different tools available in the market which we can use for managing the testing activities as part of test management the different tools we have are jira is the number one in the market guys okay a lot of projects are it also supports agile projects uh, that's why it's kind of very famous and on the top of jira to manage that uh, to perform test management we have to install plugins like zephyr and x-ray so test trial also has a very good uh, demand in the market uh, after jira test trial is very popular then test link which is an open source one then Red, uh, which is free and open source, also being used by most of the projects. Then we have Redmine, Bugzilla, PractiTest, QTest, version one. Version is on, one one is also version one is also famous for test management tool. I can say any AUT, test flow, test lot, test stuff. ALM is also popular in the market. Okay, so 
people who are not worried about paying hefty license amount and uh, they have very big projects right they generally go for alm qc okay? earlier it was called as qc now it's called as alm the latest name is alm then qa complete and many more test management tools are available in the market okay so hope guys you got an answer a very detailed answer i gave as part of the test management okay in in whatever way you get an question from in the interview regarding test management i think you will be able to answer it now okay it may not be what is test management it may be about can you explain different metrics okay that are measured as part of test management that may be a question in the interviews okay it may be any question guys so with this uh, with this explanation you should be in a position to answer that okay that uh, interview question so that's all for this session in the next session i'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye